These are the kind of results that beginners are getting with eBay dropshipping. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how they're doing it. Step one is to sign up for an account here on ebay.com. Now, there are going to be several steps that I'm going to cover for you in this video, so do be sure you stick around for all of them so I can show you the common mistakes you want to avoid when you start eBay dropshipping. So for instance, if you already have an eBay account, just use the one you already have, and I'll explain why that is later. But if you don't have one, that's fine too. You can just come over here to eBay, go to the top left where it says register and click on that, and go through this entire registration process. It only takes a few moments and it's completely free. Next, let's talk about the kinds of items you're going to be selling. When most people think about selling on eBay, they imagine themselves driving to garage sales or thrift stores, and they're searching around for deals, and then they get them home to take photos of them to create listings. And after all that, after it sells, they have to box it up and ship it out to the customer. And that certainly works, but I want to show you a way that you can sell on eBay, and all you need is a laptop and an internet connection and nothing else. You don't need to drive around to stores to get all your items, and you can do this from anywhere in the world. And that's because we're going to be using a model called dropshipping. Dropshipping is a really simple business model that allows you to sell products on eBay without holding any inventory. So first you're going to list an item up for sale on eBay, just like this person did right here with this bookshelf. Now these are items that you don't own or have in stock in your house at all. Instead, all this seller did was they found this exact same item here on Walmart, but for less money, and they just copied everything from here and created a listing on eBay. So once this item sells on eBay, all they have to do is purchase it from the supplier. In this case, that supplier is Walmart. And during checkout, they're going to tell Walmart, hey, we want you to ship this directly to the eBay customer and not to me, which means you never have to touch or handle the items ever, which is why this can be done from anywhere in the world. You probably have heard of dropshipping before, but the dropshipping that most people are familiar with is with Shopify, Shopify dropshipping. Now, while Shopify, it's great, it does present a lot of problems for beginners who are trying to start their first dropshipping store. So the first problem with Shopify is that it requires you to build your own website. It just doesn't come looking this great. You have to actually build it out with a theme and get the photos of it and do all the sales copy as well. Even after you have a website, the most difficult part of Shopify dropshipping is actually getting people to visit your website. And that is done through advertisements, which cost money, things like Facebook ads or paying TikTok influencers. That's very difficult and very expensive. And oftentimes it's for one single product, which means if that product doesn't do well, you have to start all over again from scratch and building a new website. All of this makes dropshipping on Shopify really hard for beginners. But luckily there is a place where beginners can drop ship that doesn't have any of those problems. And I'm talking of course about eBay. With eBay dropshipping, you don't need to build a website because you're going to sell on one that already exists. Plus, there are already a lot of people shopping on eBay. So you don't need to pay for ads or marketing. Essentially, you're going where the customers already are. When you combine that with dropshipping, which doesn't require you to buy any items until after someone has already bought them from you on eBay, you can see why this business model is much lower risk than a lot of the other ones out there. So like I said, we're next going to find some items to actually drop ship onto eBay. And I call this step product research. This is the most important thing you need to master to be a successful drop shipper. If you get this part down, everything else is just kind of going to fall into place. And that's because of some really powerful software I'm going to show you later. Now, I think the best way to teach you about product research is with an example. So today we're going to look for some items to drop ship from Walmart onto eBay. And to help us out, make our lives a lot easier, we're going to use a product research tool that is designed for eBay drop shipping. It's called Zeek Analytics. By the way, I put together a free ebook that has links to all the software I recommend for eBay drop shipping and 
all of those links will get you the best discounts available. So if you want that free guide, just click the first link in the description down below. First, let's head over to walmart.com because this is where we're going to start our product research. And all I want you to do is to find on here a Walmart best seller. So we'll come into a random department here. Let's come into patio and garden, and then I'll click on garden carts under that section. And what you're looking for is anything that says that it is a best seller or the most popular product. Uh, I'm not seeing it. So what you can do is up here on the top where it says sort by, I'm going to change this to best seller. And you're looking for something with a lot of reviews. And I'm not seeing, yeah, this one right here. This one has 458 reviews, which is a lot for Walmart. So we're gonna try this one. Now this is not necessarily the item we're going to sell. We're just going to use this as a gateway to find other dropshippers and other proper, uh, profitable products, I should say. So go ahead and open it up. And all, you, all I want you to do is copy down the title of it and come over to Zeek Analytics. Now on the left, I'm going to click on the product research tool. There's a bunch of tools it has, but we're gonna start with the product research tool. And I'm going to search for that product and see if anything comes up. So on the search results page, if you scroll down, you'll see everyone that's selling this product. And Zeek Analytics has identified that a lot of these people are drop shippers. That's what this logo right here means. Anyone with this means that they are a drop shipper. So for now, what I care about is I'm going to look for drop shippers that have a bunch of feedback. So this one, for instance, has over a thousand feedback. This one has 98, which isn't bad. I'm looking for someone with at least 30, so that would work. And there's a bunch of other ones as well. So let's go with the one that has over a thousand feedback because the more feedback they have, the more sales history they're going to have, which is going to help us out quite a bit with our product research. So right here, it says this person has over a thousand feedback and they're a drop shipper. So what I'm going to do next is click on this button right here that says scan seller. And now what this is going to do is Zeke Analytics is going to look at every item this person is selling and is going to tell us how often those items are selling. So here on the results page, first up here, it gives us some great information about this seller. So we see that this drop shipper has done about $75,000 in sales in the past month, and they have about 2,000 active listings. But down here, these are the results that we really want. This shows us all of the products that are being sold. And this column right here that says 30 day sales is telling us how many times in the past 30 days these items have sold. So these dumbbells have sold 62 times in the past month. This outdoor tilting umbrella has sold 48 times in the past month. The, this flower girl's bridesmaid dress for babies has sold 39 times in the past month. So this is great information. If we know that these products are trending now, we can go ahead and find similar products and we can sell those ourselves. So let me try to find some of these, for instance, like, like this one. I really like this one, this patio umbrella with crank. But honestly, what I normally do is just go through these one by one. But we'll start with a patio umbrella with a crank. And let's see if I can find that here on Walmart. So I'm going to search for patio umbrella with crank. And we'll see what comes up. Now, it's very possible I'm going to find the exact same item that this person is selling. But I don't want to sell that one because now I'm going to be competing with them directly. I want to find something similar that I can now introduce to eBay that no one else is selling or very few other people are selling. So let's see if we can find something like this, maybe something that's striped as well. The closer you can get, usually the better. And let's see right here. So this one looks pretty good. This is nine foot, just like the other one. It has the crank, it's red. So that looks pretty good. The price is good as well. It's a similar price to the one on eBay. Let's see, this one has stripes, but it's a bit more money than the one. Ah, I'm liking this one because it's $41.99, which is a cheaper option. That's always a good option if you can find a cheaper one. It's a little bit smaller though, but I think this one could do really well based on the price. Let me quickly see if there's anything else. This one is also excellent. It's nine foot. It's about the same price. It's striped. So that's an excellent one as well. 
And I might list up a couple of these or a few of these, but for right now, I'm going to stick with that $41 one because just the price on that just can't be beat. You're gonna be able to price yours lower than the seller on eBay who's selling one that's already doing so well. So this is my choice right here of an item that I can drop ship. It's similar and has a lot of the same features. So we know that these do well on eBay. So this is one I'm interested in selling myself. Now that we have an item to sell, let's actually list it into my eBay store. Now the old way of doing this required us to go onto the Walmart website, download every single image, upload them to eBay, copy the title over, copy the description, figure out the price of it. And that all takes a really long time. It's a huge headache. And luckily there's an easy way now because we have some software that can do that for us. This is a software I use, it's called AutoDS, and it will literally list the item onto eBay for you with just a couple of clicks. So for instance, once you set the whole thing up, you can click on the top left where it says add products, single product. I'll just copy down the URL for this product on Walmart. And here on AutoDS, I will go ahead and paste that in. And literally, if I just click publish to store, that item is now live in my eBay store. Now, normally what I do is I click on edit now quick, and that allows me to make any changes to it that I want. And I call this step optimization because I'm really optimizing it for eBay. This listing here is optimized for Walmart, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do well on eBay. I need to optimize it for eBay, which means a better title primarily and some changes to description and maybe even to the image as well. So I'll take a few minutes to do that and really load this title up with keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for umbrellas like this. But once I'm done with all that, I can click save and import and that item will now go live on my eBay store. And the really cool thing is because I'm using AutoDS to do that, if the price changes on Walmart, AutoDS will update the price on eBay automatically. And if the item goes out of stock on Walmart, AutoDS will make sure the item goes out of stock on my eBay account as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that every account on eBay has what's called a selling limit, which is basically how many items you're allowed to sell on eBay within a given month. So the older your account is, the higher your limits will be. So that's why I said at the beginning that you should use an older account if you have one. But even if you have a new account, eBay does raise your selling limits once you start making some sales. So speaking of which, once you actually sell your product, all you have to do is come back over here to Walmart and click add to cart and go through the checkout process. Now Walmart will say, hey, what's your billing information? Well, you enter in your credit card, you enter in your billing address, but for the shipping address, go ahead and enter in your buyer shipping address. That way Walmart ships it directly to your customer. Now this seems really simple, but for me, it was the only thing that I tried that actually worked. I had tried Shopify and I failed at it. I had tried affiliate marketing and I failed at that. I tried a bunch of other things, but this, eBay dropshipping, this was the only thing that actually worked. And that's because it's so simple. I was really able to wrap my head around it and get started pretty quickly for almost no money. And sure, it took me a while to figure out how to make good money from it. But as you can see from my results, I did eventually figure it out. And I was able to do over a million dollars in sales my very first year. And I didn't have all the resources available to me that now you have and that I'm giving you to help you succeed. So please empower yourself. The more resources and information you have, the more likely it will be that you'll be successful at eBay dropshipping. As I mentioned before, I have a free ebook that reveals all the software and tools I recommend for dropshipping. To get it, all you have to do is click the first link in the description down below and it's free, so please make sure you download it and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Then check out some of the other videos I have, which will be appearing on the screen right now.